Hey, what is happening, my friends? Welcome to Poor House Trivia Online. If you were looking for the 1980s trivia game, you found it. I mean, in the 1980s, we had fun. That's what we wanted to do. We had some fun. I did a lot of break dancing. All right. I broke danced till the till the cows came home. I don't even know if that's a word, broke dance. That's the past tense that we're coining it right now. I was a mean break dancer. I'm serious, y'all. I was a serious, serious threat in the 80s. You can look it up. You can look, look it up. I was a serious threat in the 80s uh, on, on the cardboard. At many a roller rinks in the, uh, you know, Maryland area, the mid-Atlantic region, let's say, I would, I would say, I, I, you know, I traveled a little bit, did some competitions. So, you know, you could argue that the quarantine and the, the pandemic is getting to me a little bit, and I'm boasting about childhood accomplishments to make myself you know, let's get on with the trivia game. All right, y'all. Here we go. 1980s trivia challenge is just what it says. If you are an 80s child, if you're a fan of the 80s, if you got friends from the 80s, if you've ever played Pac Man, if you have ever worn a banana clip and listened to some power ballads, you should have fun on this quiz. All right, give yourself one point apiece on every question. I think there's 10 base questions. Matter of fact, I know that there's 10 base questions because I wrote them. And then there's a lot of bonus ones splattered in there too. So you can give yourself just one point apiece. See how you did, that's it. Um, you can keep track of it with a pen and paper. You can do it on your cell phone. Heck, you can just tell the dog, hey, keep track, I got one. There's another one. And then at the end, let me know how you did. I wanna know, the 80s challenge, good luck. First question in the 80s challenge is not ready yet because I got some slides about subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love, love to keep you uh, posted about stuff we do. Uh, theme nights, we've got live streams on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So tune in for that. That's general knowledge trivia against the world. That's a lot of fun. And we also do a lot of private parties. Hit us up, poorhousetrivia.com. We would love, love, love catch up with you on a private stream, do some trivia, have some fun, some shenanigans, and just have some good times. All righty, here's question one. And I'll go through the 10 questions, and then, I'll, uh, and then we'll do the answers afterwards. So you can pause at any point. Some of these questions are easy, some are medium, some are hard. There's one or two real deep cuts in there. Here, uh, good luck to you, and uh, see how you did. Let me know again in the end. Here we go. First one, for one point. What game show featured the whammy and debuted in 1983? And for a one point bonus on this, I always type it twice there. I guess it's a copy and paste, I'm not noticing. That's the second time I did this on the uh, Game of Thrones quiz too. Anyways, for a one point bonus, can you name the original host of that TV show? Question two. Name the American track star who won four gold medals at the 1984 Summer Olympics. That should say summer. Or you can tell me the city in which the 1984 Summer Olympics were held. Both uh, for one point. So you can get two points total. You know what? Let's toss one in. Let's improvise. Let's throw another part in here that's not written. The unwritten question is... In what city was the 1980 or the 1984 Winter Olympics held? Get it. Go get it. Question number three. This is family ties. This is one of my favorites. One of my faves. All right. Three parts. One point apiece. What was the last name of the family that the show Family Ties centered around? Number two. In what U.S. city was Family Ties set? And question three, what political party did Alex affiliate with? One point apiece. Question four. Name the NFL team from the 80s who produced a music video around their song, The Super Bowl Shuffle. 
Get it? Question five. Uh, here are the first lines of 380's power ballads. All you got to do is name the song for one point apiece. Name the song. Woke up to the sound of pouring rain. Number two. We both lie silently still in the dead of the night. Number three. This is this is a tough one, I think. This is a, this is a deep cut. Got a picture of your house, and you're standing by the door. I'll even give you the rest. Got a picture of your house, and you're standing by the door. It's black and white and faded, and it's looking pretty worn. Go get him for one point apiece. Question six. Rocky three, right? What's up? What's up? Rocky faces a professional wrestler in an exhibition match in Rocky three. For one point apiece, tell me what real life wrestling superstar portrayed that wrestler. Or, and, have you want to look at it, what was that character's name in Rocky three? What you think? One point for each of those. Question seven. Who's error cost the Red Sox game six in the 1986 series against the, and I left that blank because that's your bonus. Fill in the blank above. In other words, the team that the Sox played against. Famous error. Woo! Mercy, it's a famous error. Question eight. These toy items were called the little people originally, but were renamed this. Your answer. When they were mass produced in 1982, name that toy that caused a craze in toy stores everywhere. I got one. I got one. I even remember mine's name. I'll let you know in uh, in uh, in in the in the answer section. I just realized I gave you a hint by telling you that they had names. Mine had a name. I remember mine's name. For a one point bonus, though, the signature. Of this toy's creator was depicted on the bum on the back side of every toy. What was the creator's name? Number nine, in the 1980s, Coke enlisted the help of an artificial intelligence spokespers spokesperson in their commercials. Name this blonde haired ha 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 half man who helped sell Coca Cola to the world. And I may have just given you a ha 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 hint, right? Number 10, this is a deep cut. This is a deep cut. If you get this, you should give yourself two points. Matter of fact, we're making this one worth two points. Okay? Because this one, this one is like 80s end boss trivia. The 1981 self-help book, A Guide to Life, covers topics like romance, manners, fashion, and diet, and spent 29 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. Interestingly, the book's author was not human. Now, I will add that officially noted as written by your answer, as told to Henry Beard. So obviously a human had to be involved at some point to put the letters down. But it's official. Name the author. The author is officially not a human being. The, uh, it is Henry Beard, this, this guy, is basically a, the the official writer is written by your answer as told to Henry Beard. So Henry and the story of it is Henry Beard basically was dictating uh, what was being told to him by this non-human, which is your answer. See if you can get it. Guide to Life, 29 weeks on the bestseller list. Not a human being. That is 10 questions. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, look at this animation we've done. <laughs> yes, indeed, it's amazing. I know, I know. Break dance, break. What? But you can't see it. Wait, wait, get the, get the big. What you gonna do? Oh, oh, look, popping and locking. Oh, put your look. I'm gonna. But here we go. Ooh. Got you in a box. Wave you down. Spit you out. Poof.
You know what I'm saying? I was a serious, serious threat. Serious threat in the 80s. Here are your answers. Question one. Uh, we asked about the Whammy TV show. Did you get it? It was, in fact, Press Your Luck. And the original host, Peter Tomarkin. Peter Tomarkin and Press Your Luck. No whammies. Question number two. Uh, we asked you to name that track star that won four gold medals in the 1984 Olympics. And then to tell me in which city these uh, summer Olympics were held. And then it did an improvised name where the winter Olympics were held. That was Carl Lewis. Summer Olympics in Los Angeles. And I actually didn't check this, so I hope I'm right. Is Sarajevo, the Winter Olympics 1984 Sarajevo is your answer. All righty. This is your family ties question. Alex P, baby. That's my man. All right. He was uh, in the family. That was the Keatons. Alex P. Keaton. Um, and the Mallory Keaton. Mr. and Mrs. Keaton. I actually can't remember the youngest daughters. Is it Jennifer? Let me know in comments if you remember. The It was Alex Mallory. Uh, and then, um, yeah, what was the, was it Jennifer Keaton? Or was that the, ah, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt my brain. Let me know in comments what the youngest Keaton was. Uh, Columbus, Ohio is where the TV show was set. And Alex P was a young Republican. That's sort of the theme of the TV show for you youngins who never watched it. Uh, was sort of the counterculture transition from, uh, um, the 60s and 70s, cultural liberalism into the 80s, conservatism, this TV show sort of captured that as the parents were um, ex-hippie types. Uh, and then Alex P. Keaton was uh, your emerging uh, conservative type. Fun show. Fun show. Download it. All right, question four. Name the NFL team and the Super Bowl shuffle. That is the Bears Chicago Bears is your answer. Number five. All right. This one is near and dear to my heart. Being a musician and a fan of 80s. And who doesn't love a good power ballad, right? I think I've been caught at red lights singing all of these songs at the top of my lungs. Like, yeah. Hey, how are you? How are you? Just clearing it out. Honk, honk. Woke up to the sound of pouring rain. The wind would whisper. And I'd think of you. That is I Remember You by Skid Row. We both lie silently still in the dead of the night. That is every rose has its thorn. Doesn't it? And uh, our deep cut. Did you get this one? Got a picture of your house and you're standing by the door. It's black and white and faded and it's looking pretty worn. That is heaven. By Warrant, if I'm not mistaken. That was a good good power ballad. I used to love that power ballad. I used to just, I forget what grade I was in when it came out, but man, I might have had a crush on like somebody from a social studies class, and I would just sing that, and I wish why well, she won't pay attention to me. Heaven isn't too far away. And then I'd break dance, and you know what? You know how it went from there. The answer, I remember you. Every rose has its thorn and heaven. All right, this is a fun one. Rocky Three. Everybody's seen this, right? Met up with a wrestler in an exhibition match. For one point, who played the wrestler and what was the wrestler's name? It was Hulk Hogan, and his name was Thunderlips. <laughs> you got to love Thunderlips. He was a classic. All right, nice job if you got that one point apiece. Question seven. Whose error cost the Red Sox game six in the 86 series? Against the blanks. That was Bill Buckner, and they were playing the Mets. The Mets. Classic game. Google that. Quite as intense. Just right under the legs. Right between the legs, the ball goes. Cost them the game. All right. Question number eight. I right, asked about this toy item, and then the creator who wrote and si who had his name signed on the behind every one of these dolls. It is the Cabbage Patch Kids, the Cabbage Patch dolls, Cabbage Patch dolls, and the creator was Xavier Roberts. Xavier Roberts' signature 
mine my, i remember i don't i just remember i had a cabbage patch doll i was so very excited and his name was frederick jonathan frederick jonathan where are you now number nine it was the 1980s, and Coke enlisted the help of artificial intelligence to aid in their ad campaigns. Blonde hair, half man, talk, 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 like, 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 like that a little bit. Some, 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 sometimes. It was Max Headroom. Max Headroom. You youngins, Google Max Headroom. He was the original AI, the original robot. <laughs> All right. Probably not. There's a lot, plenty of cool ones prior to him, but he was cool. All right. This was your deep cut. This is worth two points because it was tough. It was a toughie. Guide to life. Manners, romance, diet, exercise, all kinds of topics um, dictated by Henry Beard, but written by none other. Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy had a 1980s bestseller on the New York Times bestseller list for 29 weeks. What? What? Nice work, Miss Piggy. Hey, thanks you all for tuning in for the 1980s trivia challenge. Let me know how you did in the comments section below. I really, really would like to know how you did. So let us know uh, one point apiece. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and jingle that bell, baby. Jingle that bell. Let us keep in touch with you. If you want to do a private stream as well, we are here for you. We'd love, love, love to do a stream live for you and your friends, neighbors, co-workers, whoever, clients, uh, especially during the pandemic and the craziness in the world. Um, it's just a lot of fun. So uh, hit us up and tune in for our streams Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Until then, I... Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and we love you. Take care.